One of the trends that I'm sure you guys have been seeing everywhere is denim especially denim on denim if you guys have been watching any of the hauls that i've been doing recently there's just been loads of denim everywhere it's giving very much 90s y2k style so in today's video i'm going to share with you guys eight ways to wear and shop this denim trend i'm going to include some styling in this video and some tips on how to put together denim denim on denim sometimes it can be a bit tricky the first type of denim that we're going to talk about is distressed denim and it this i think of all the denim trends this season definitely gives the most y2k for me and for this particular denim trend i've put together this zara corset strapless top i did haul this in my last zara haul and then i've put it with these meg the stallion jeans that i picked up from fashion nova the last time she had a jeans drop with them and i think it just looks really nice together this is the perfect outfit for the spring summer and what I've done here, the reason why I think these two types of denim work together is that the corset top, if you can see, it's kind of got like a brown wash on it, a distressed brown wash, and that wash is also on the jeans. So they're not exactly the same. I don't think that there is necessarily a need for the denim on the top and the denim on the bottom to be exactly the same. But when you're styling denim and denim, and denim together, I've found that it looks best when it's similar types of denim or, or opposites. Well, you guys will see with some of the styles that i put together today that some of the denim is opposite and it looks i think it looks quite nice and otherwise all the other types of denim that i'm putting together are quite similar so this distressed denim look i think is really cute i've really been loving all of these kind of strapless corset tops i think that they just look so nice i'm sure that it's probably been a style that has been around before but definitely this this time around i am enjoying the way that the stores are kind of interpreting denim into tops and that probably leads me to the next way that you can wear this denim trend and that is in a crop style top i have this cropped top that i picked up from zara 2 one of the best places to shop this trend this season is zara they have so many different iterations of denim i've actually seen like a, a denim biker jacket biker jacket bomber jacket that i'm thinking of picking up as well but i did pick up this cropped corset top from there and i've paired it with a pair of asos wide leg jeans and i wore this to brunch recently i got so many compliments on this outfit i did um wear it with a denim bag that i'll show you guys with one of the other outfits but i got so many compl compliments on this outfit i felt really comfortable the old these oversized jeans you guys would have seen it featured in my uh, what's in my wardrobe video is super comfortable and although the again the denims are not super similar they are kind of like a they are both kind of like a mid-wash denim and usually if i'm going to go fitted on the top then i'm going to go looser on the bottom and vice versa i feel like this top this fitted it gives lots of boob top <laughs> with a wider leg wider leg pant does look quite nice i did consider distressing these jeans i still might but at the moment i haven't distressed them and i think it looks it looks really nice together it was perfect for brunch and it's not necessarily a look that i would dress down but you could if you wanted to put on a pair of trainers with it but and it definitely made a statement i had a few people like double take <laughs> me because denim and denim or the canadian tuxedo is not something that you see people wearing super often so the next way to wear this trend is with a denim button-up and i have it featured here with a pair of Abercromb abercrombie and fitch jeans and this button-up i picked up from h&m a few seasons ago but i will put in the description a few different options for you guys and i've also paired it with this denim belt that i picked up from asos you guys would have seen this fit in my zara styling haul i've also paired it with the denim bag that i picked up from Caperni, and i think that this looks really nice guys i know i'm saying they all look nice but this one also looks nice and i think it's a good example of if you don't want to wear something super fitted on the top so if you want to if you are more comfortable maybe being a bit more covered or you have a denim type shirt like this one then this is just an idea of how you can style it with more of a fitted jean this isn't a skinny jean this is a i think it's called a straight mum jean but you can tell that this kind of jean it's a bit more close to the body and a bit more cuffed than the jeans that i showed you in the last outfit and i think that complements the oversized shirt a bit more um i did also consider styling this oversized shirt with a denim skirt 
but a short one and I think that looked quite nice together as well with the denim belt in the middle. I will put in a few pictures but you can also use this denim button up on top of outfits or you know as more of a relaxed jacket if you wanted to. I think that this H&M top when I bought it was actually advertised or described as a jacket so it's definitely that you, something that's quite versatile that you can wear over things if you don't want to wear it alone. So of all of the types of denim that I feature in this video, I would say that this one is the most versatile. If you are somebody who maybe doesn't want to invest too much in the denim trend, although I, to be honest guys, I probably would encourage you to because although it's trendy right now, denim is something that we are always going to wear, which is why I've kind of fallen head first into the trend because I feel like I can't really have too much because I'm always going to find a way to wear it even when it's not trendy but if you're somebody who doesn't really you kind of want to just dip your toe in it then if you are considering picking up maybe one just one or two denim pieces then I would recommend picking up a shirt like this just because I think it's something that you can wear quite a few different ways so the next way to wear this trend is also with denim accessories. Before denim became really trendy, I would see denim accessories here and there, but not super often. But more recently, I have been seeing denim accessories everywhere. I'll put up a few pictures for you guys, but I know Zara have three or four different denim bags that you can buy. Because it was quite popular in the 90s and noughties, you can also buy this, shop this trend secondhand or thrifted if you wanted to. Denim accessories is also something that you can DIY if you want to, if you're somebody who's got a bit of time to do that. I've seen people DIY denim shoes or denim slides, denim bags, denim belts. So I'm showing you guys here my denim bag that I picked up from Caperni. If you're interested in seeing that unboxing, then you can check it out. I'll put a link to it here. I do love this bag and as I mentioned, I'm, I'm, I wasn't, I was quite open to spending a bit more money investing in some denim accessories and just denim in general because I do think it's something that I'm going to be wearing for a while but if you didn't want to do that then definitely there are a few different bag options that you can pick up in denim that are a bit more affordable and still super stylish I would say a, a tip for picking up denim accessories especially if you're buying ones that are inexpensive I would recommend avoiding embellishments I just feel like sometimes the embellishing of certain washes of denim can look quite in inexpensive so a good tip for shopping the accessories i would say is to just keep it simple pick up a plain denim shoulder bag or top handle bag without much to it i would say like these <laughs> also if you're somebody who does enjoy embellishments on your denim in particular your denim accessories then don't shy away from doing it yourself because I feel like sometimes that looks a bit more expensive you know just pick up a nice cheap denim bag from somewhere and then if you want it to have maybe stickers or iron-ons or diamonds or whatever then you can go to the haberdashery I don't know if it's called the haberdashery for Americans but you know you go to the place that has all of the stuff that you can use <laughs> if you're making clothes and you can pick up ones that look a bit more expensive I also have like a corset belt that I'll show you guys I'm still trying to figure out how to style this so I'm not sure if I'm going to show it to you guys styled but either way that is also an accessory they might still have it available in at Zara if they do I will put it in the link I will put a link to it down below. So the next way to wear this trend is by mixing denim. And I think that this way of wearing this trend is perfect for you guys, for any of you guys. Maybe you just want to dip your toe into denim on denim or you're not 100% sure on how to put two different types of blue denim together. They're mixing two different types of denim together in terms of the colour is a bit easier to do so i've put together this corset top that i picked up from zara that i've showed you guys already with the distressed jeans but here i'm showing it to you guys with a pair of white mum jeans and this is the same asos mum jean cut that the blue mum jeans that i showed you before are in so it's exactly the same cut love this cut and i think that this just looks really cute together i think it's perfect with a pair of sunglasses a pair of platform sandals i just think that this just screams holiday vacation and i love it. it is an alternative way way to wear the trend that isn't super heavy on making sure that you've got the right kind of blues the next way that you can wear this trend is with a 
denim skirt. Now I don't have one of these yet because I prefer this style of skirt in a darker color and I haven't been able to find one in my size yet but I will show you guys some ways that this skirt has been styled and it is really cute and super on trend for this season. There is a side of skirt that I've seen everybody wearing that has like a split up the side. I actually prefer that over the split up the middle. For all my life I've been fighting with splits up the middle of skirts. They just don't really work for me because I'm quite tall so this kind of side split to show a bit of leg is lovely. I will put a link to it if I can find it for you guys but I have seen another variation of this skirt as well that I'll put in for you guys that I think is super cute. Don't have it in my size, but I think it's really nice. So if you guys can find a denim skirt that works for you, I'm quite hippie. So denim skirts can be a bit tricky for me, especially when they don't have any stretch. But I did note on Zara that they do have a denim skirt that looks like denim, but isn't. And I think it's like, a, I think it's a polyester or a stretch spandex or something like that. So I'm sure it will be a bit easier for you guys to fit if you have any trouble with, you know, your hip to waist ratio, which I sometimes have, especially with non-stretch non denim. The next way that you can wear this trend is with a denim dress. And I found this denim dress from Urban Revival and they don't have my size. Guys, all of the really super cute denim stuff goes so far. So if you ever come across something denim that you really, really like, just pick it up. Because I found this dress and I've been to the website and I've tried to buy it through ASOS too and they don't have my size. But I know that a few, I would say probably maybe a few, couple of months ago there was a denim dress from Zara that was super popular as well so I unfortunately don't have a denim dress I do have a I do have a dungarees dress but I don't really like it anymore so outside of that I don't really have more of a midi maxi length denim dress so that's on my list to buy as well but it is also another way that you can wear this wear this trend so the next way to wear this trend I would say is probably like the most eveningy iteration of denim on denim and that is wearing a classic black jean and i think with denim depending on the color you can kind of just use it like you would non-denim so you know like if you just had a pair of dress trousers a pair of dress pants what would you put with it and then you can do the same with a pair of dark denim jeans so i have these wide leg the same <laughs> the same you guys are probably sick of me now but it's the same mum jean and I've paired it with this denim corset top from Zara again and I just think it looks really nice together and it it's definitely given evening and if you are somebody who maybe doesn't like blue jean or distressed jean maybe you're not super into Y2K or 90s fashion or anything like that then I think that this is a very modern interpretation of denim on denim and if you are somebody who maybe is not super keen on the blue on, on the blue denim on blue denim then you can definitely still take part in the trend and maybe like dip your toe in without you know being matchy matchy if you don't want to be matchy matchy you can do it like this <laughs> so i hope that these tips have really helped you i'm super ready to channel my paris hilton Nicole Richie Energy. <laughs> Don't forget to check out the description box for all of the links. And if you like videos like these, please don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.